right, well, I have my lunchbox because I'm going to school. I'm going to school with Ag in the Classroom. Mandy Bottoms is with us. Thank you so much for being here. I love when we do a segment just for kids, to get kids excited about fruits and vegetables. So what do you have today with tomatoes? This is a great back to school snack or even can go in that lunchbox and it helps kids have fun with their food, which okay. is a, always a goal of ours. Play so, with your food. My mom used to say, don't play with your food, but we're saying oh, it's okay. Research shows <laughs> playing with your food is very good for kids right. now. <laughs> so we have, um, we're gonna make a ladybug sandwich. So you Ooh. just start with a piece of lightly toasted whole wheat bread. How so they can get that? those no nutrients. Um, a piece of sliced cheese as the base. What kind of cheese can I use? My kids love mild cheddar. Okay. <laughs> but you can use whatever okay. kind of cheese your kids right. like. You're actually going to cover it up with a piece of lettuce. So it doesn't totally matter. It's just for the nutritional okay. value. So they're Little leaf lettuce, stable. little green leaf or romaine on there. Yep, a little piece of leaf lettuce. Okay. Now it's time to make the ladybug wings. So we're going to slice the tomato. And ladybugs, another point you can make while you're doing this with your kids is that ladybugs actually have an important role in the garden and in oh, growing good. things. Yes. So some kids don't know that. If you have pests like aphids or spider mites, ladybugs are their predator. So it's a great way to help control insect populations in Wait your garden second. as well. Ladybug is so cute. I don't I see know. it quite as a predator. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> might surprise are. you. Yeah, you can, and you can get them at garden centers. So you'll take your tomato slice. Once you have that, just cut it in half. These are going to be the ladybug wings. So cute. we'll put it right on top, kind of in a wing fashion okay and then let's see okay we have our olives you can have your children add those as the ladybugs spots they're little black yeah, spots little on the black their, spots on wings. so cute and then just a cherry tomato or plum tomato in this case or whatever you want to call it. that's going to be the head so we'll put that right on the top and then we're missing one thing, oh, and that are eyes. eyes. We need eyes. eyes. So I'm trying to dry my hands. These are little, they're actually candy eyes, just a tiny little bit of candy. You're going to dip it in your cream cheese, and you're going to stick it right on there for the ladybug's eyes. And there you have it. You have a ladybug oh, sandwich. My goodness. So it makes it fun for the kids to eat it. Now, if I want to put that in my lunchbox, just put a slap another bread I just on there. Do that on top, and say there's right? a surprise in <laughs> There's a surprise in your sandwich today. Yeah. I also want to share with any teachers or parents out there there's a project that NASA does called the Tomato Sphere. Have Ooh, you heard about that? Tell me about it. They actually send tomato seeds into space and then they bring the tomato seeds back and then they distribute them to classrooms all over the United States. So I think there's like 20,000 classrooms that participate in it. And then it's citizen science. The kids raise these tomato plants, report on how they grow, and NASA collects all that data. So it's a fun way to connect your students with science, math, growing things. And astronauts. And astronauts. And Who doesn't love that? So, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. how cool it is, is that? It is very fun. And then they plant the seeds? and They see. plant the seeds and grow and, and take all the data from how they're growing. So there's lots of connections, ways that you can help your students learn about agriculture, science, um, while also helping them eat healthy. We're going to learn more about Ag in the Classroom. Yeah, Ag in the Classroom is a nonprofit. Our job is to help it make teaching agriculture very easy for teachers and parents. We are at learnaboutag.org and we have so many teacher resources. You can go there, get information, get activities, everything's hands-on, so make sure you check it out. One of the things kids probably don't know, that pizza that they have, that spaghetti, 99.9% .9 of all the processed tomatoes for the United States are grown right here in California. So whether you're in New York getting a tomato sauce, it's grown here in California. And ketchup too. And so ketchup, that's right. And salsa. That one. A kid favorite is ketchup, yes. All right. Yeah. Well, don't go away. The doctor's in the house. Uh, we're talking about Alzheimer's disease. Coming right up. Don't go away.